It is a big day in Washington, and it could end with a big upset. Valley Congressman Tim Ryan is doing everything he can to become House Minority Leader. Ryan is challenging Nancy Pelosi for that job. Democrats in the House will vote this morning at 9 o'clock. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney is in D.C. right now, and he joins us live with a preview before that vote. Good morning, Stan. Well, I am standing right across the street from the U.S. Capitol. It is a rainy Wednesday morning here in Washington, D.C. as well. You can see, shrouded amongst the trees, the dome of the Capitol right behind me on what is a wet Wednesday morning here in D.C. The reason I'm here is to cover the vote that will take place later on today to determine whether Youngstown Area Congressman Tim Ryan or California Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi will end up being the House Minority Leader. Now, actually standing underneath the portico of what is the Longworth building right across the street from the Capitol. This is where the offices of Tim Ryan are located up on the fourth floor. Also, if you go right in the entrance, turn left and go around the bend there, you will run into the House Ways and Ways and Means Committee hearing room, and that is where the vote will be taking place later on today. The vote begins at 9 o'clock, and from what we have been told, it is expected to wrap up sometime around noon. Now, Tim Ryan has been campaigning hard for this position of House Minority Leader. He has appeared on all the major news shows. Uh, he also has picked up some support as well. He has been seeking the support uh, of a number of different groups. He's been looking for the uh, Congressional Black Caucus. He's asked them for their support. Also, the new Democrats, a conservative wing of the party. He's asked them for support. Yesterday, he picked up an endorsement from the member of the Hispanic Caucus. So he is g getting some support uh, for his run for House Minority Leader. Uh, he needs pr at least a majority of the votes. That's all it takes to win. From best we can tell, there are about 194 Democrats that will be voting today, and he just needs one more than Nancy Pelosi. Now, not a lot of people talking about this. Not a lot of people in Washington actually giving Tim Ryan a chance. But yesterday, we talked with First News congressional correspondent Alex Schumann and asked him what chances Ryan had of winning. There could be enough anger. She's been in charge in some form in the leadership in the House for more than a decade, and they have only been in control of the House for two of those terms. So this could definitely be the moment when they decide, let's try something new. Well, we did try to at least talk with Tim Ryan yesterday. Uh, we were up at his office, but Tim Ryan was not giving any interviews at all yesterday. Uh, we were told by his media liaison, Mike Zetz, that MSNBC even called him yesterday, and he turned them down. Uh, he is expected to make a comment after it is done today, and again, we expect it to wrap up about noon, the voting beginning at 9 a.m. Live in Washington, D.C., Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.